Hey guys, where is Charles? I don't know where is he. Let him go. Hi guys, how are you? Sorry, I wasn't uh, a uh, taxi yet. No, I was a uh, whole late. Sorry, once again. Hey, what did you do, guys, yesterday? Do you know, Charles? Yesterday I went to market. There was a security. But he didn't see me. I have stolen three phones. Yes, that's great, man. Can you imagine that? Oh, yes. How do you do that? We need to be smart, buddy. I join with you tomorrow? Yeah, sure, sure. It is the easy money, guys. Yeah, easy, easy money. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. Do you know where I was? Where? Last night I was in the disco, man. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Last night I was bringing lots of alcohol, words, kasha, tequila, and all the girls. They were amazing, man. Yeah, and I have the numbers. Numbers, numbers yeah, man. Amazing, yeah. Yesterday I had a fight with my friend. For what purpose? He is giving me bad words. That's why I hit him. Okay. Oh, wow. Hey, Charles, come tell us. How was the day? Yeah. yeah. Tell us, tell us. Wow, yesterday what I've done, oh my god, that was unbelievable. I've been to the Bible study with brothers and sisters. We were gathering together and we were worshipping the Lord and we were praising His name. You know, really guys, I, I, I cannot explain you what you can feel when you are in the presence with the Lord. And I, one day I will invite you to this gathering, you know, for you to at least experience this because Everyone in this earth needs to experience once you are studying the words, when you feel the presence of the Holy Spirit in you. This is something really that I wish one day you to gather and invite you to our, to our place, to our church, to, to study the words. And you see we listen to sermons, you feel the presence of the Holy Spirit pour out in, inside of us. That was something really that I really wish you to experience. It was fantastic. Charles, it's so boring, yeah. What is the fun in that? Yeah, but man, you should experience this. You cannot understand. This is something that we can feel only in the presence of, of God. Look, Johnson, you know, I'm not here to judge you, okay? And this is, I cannot judge you. Wait, I will explain you. The thing is that God loves you. He loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. One thing very important. Maybe you take those phones. No one sees you. But remember one thing that you have a CCTV in camera. You have a CCTV in heavens. The Lord will, will have seen what you have done. So the thing is that we have to repent from our sin. Imagine if tomorrow morning you are in front of the Lord, what you will say to him? You know, we are sinners from the creation of the world since Adam and Eve. We cannot we, we cannot be saved by our good deeds, our we are good people all over. The thing is that we are saved by grace. Solomon, you know, what the Bible says, I'm not here to judge you, I'm here to allow you. What you have done in disco, drinking, you know, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And one thing very important, even though we, we should stay holy, for example, for you take neighbors from girls, from wives, from, from uh, women, but we should always uh, keep ourselves and our body holy for our wife, for our marriage. And you know, Sachin, look, I tell you one thing. The thing is that what you have done yesterday, what the Bible says, I'm not here to judge you, once again. The Bible says that Jesus, once they snap him on the right cheeks, he gives the left one, he says, you need to give the left one and you need to pray for enemy. So the thing that I'm inviting you to go to your friends and to pray for him and to ask him for him. So Charles, what do you to do for forgiveness? It's very simple. First things, you have to repent from your sin. Okay. Second, you have to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. The third thing is that you have to be baptized. So this is called the Great Commission. One thing very important, after that you have to try to follow the life as Jesus were doing on earth, looks like him, follow his steps and try to live a life of holiness.
Guys, today's battle class was amazing. It was a lot of fun today. Yeah, right, right man. The, the, the message of Matthew 28 when Jesus says make nation disciple is really touched my heart. Wow guys, I can't wait for the next turn. Okay Johnson, next time I will conduct the Bible study. Says, oh. <laughs> okay, one more time. <laughs>